Hi there wildlife watchers, my name's Lucy and today I'm going to be having a go at doing some worm charming. Did you know that in the UK we have a whopping 27 species of worm living right here underneath our feet in the soil? They're not only incredibly hard working, making sure that the soil is really nice and healthy, but they're also really fascinating to look at. So I thought we'd have a go seeing if we can get them from being underneath the ground to up above. So you might have already heard of some worm charming techniques and they include making smelly mustard mixtures, mm. foot paddling like a gull, making it rain, singing and also worm grunting. That's right, I really did say worm grunting. Before we get started, there's a couple of things that you'll need. 30 grams of mustard or 15 grams of mustard powder but if you don't have these, don't worry, you can use fairy liquid. A couple of squirts would do. One litre of water and a spoon to mix it with. Two sticks, a hoop or string or something else to carry out your charming in. Your best singing voice and a watering can. Before we get started, let's quickly go through some of the human and worm health and safety. If you have any big or deep cuts on your hands, you may want to cover these up. Remember, worms like to wiggle, so don't be alarmed if they move in your hand. It's best to cup your hands whilst you're holding them. It's really fun to have a good look at worms, but we think that looking at them for about 10 minutes where it's not too hot is just about right. You'll then need to check with your adult that you're working somewhere that they're happy with. A bare patch of lawn or maybe an empty flower bed is a perfect place to do this. You don't want to head towards mum's favourite plants and get told off. And of course, return your worms once you've had a good look back to where you found them, down in the ground. I'm also going to be looking at whether I'm finding adult or juvenile worms. If a worm has a saddle, which you can see here on this worm, it's the fleshy, bulky bit that looks a little bit like a belt or a saddle going all the way around, then it's an adult. If it doesn't have this, then it's a juvenile. It might be fun as well to guess which technique you think is going to work the best. My money's on the mustard mixture. Mix together your mustard and one litre of water. Once mixed, pour into your worm charming area. So, once you've poured your mustard mixture into your survey area, get really close and wait for five minutes to see what comes up. So, I'm really excited because from the mustard mixture, I got four worms, two juveniles and two adults. Now I'm gonna go and put them back. So if you've ever tasted mustard, you'll know that it's a little bit hot and that chemical that makes it hot for us to taste is a little bit irritating to a worm's skin. And so they come up to the surface of the soil in order to get away from that feeling and that sensation on their skin. Don't worry, it doesn't cause them any harm and actually scientists use this in order to collect data, important data about worms. So next up is our foot paddling like girls do. Have you ever seen them in your garden or perhaps on roundabouts doing that funny dance? Well, now it's your chance to have a go doing that yourself. I've just done my warm up and I've selected a different patch on the lawn to where I was working with the mustard. And I'm going to be tapping my feet up and down on the spot for one minute and then waiting for five to see if any worms come up. Fingers crossed. So now it's a great time to catch your breath and take your five minutes to have a little look to see if any worms are coming up. So guys, we got one adult from the foot paddling and it's a really big one and this one really likes to wiggle. So there's actually mixed opinions as to why foot paddling works. Some people believe that the vibrations that birds such as girls cause is similar to the vibrations that a predator such as a mole would make. So in order to escape the mole, the worms will come up to the surface. However, they don't know that there's a girl above lurking, waiting to eat it. Some people also think that the vibrations that the gulls make is similar to rain. And when it rains, worms find it easier to get to the surface and to move across the soil to a different patch. So by pouring that water on the soil makes the worms underneath think that it's raining. And of course, like I said earlier, it's easier for the worms to come up to the surface and move to a different patch if the soil is wet. So they take the opportunity whilst they think it's raining to move. Let's wait those five minutes and see if we find any worms. So from that worm charming technique with the rain, that gave me one adult worm and it's a whopper. 
I'm sorry to disappoint guys, but I'm not going to be doing any singing on camera. Trust me, I'm thinking of your ears. But what I am going to do is choose a different patch to work in. I'm going to use the buzzing on this plant next to me to help and I'm going to sing off camera to the ground for one minute and then wait five again and see if any worms come up. What can I say? That was nil point for me with the singing worm charming technique. It just didn't work for me, but I reckon it's something to do with my voice and I bet yours is much better. Worm grunting actually goes back hundreds of years and there's even competitions in the UK. So what is it? Well, it's when you get a stick like this and you pop it in the ground and with another stick, like this, you simply make vibrations on the two sticks and you wait and you see what comes up. Don't worry if you don't have two sticks like this, you can perhaps use a fork or a spade. Let's go. So that's really cool. I've got two worms from worm grunting. I've got one juvenile and one adult. I've had a good look, so now I'm gonna pop them back where I found them. Out of all of our worm charming techniques, for me, the one that worked the most was the mustard mixture. I really hope that you have as much fun as I did looking for worms and trying out those worm charming techniques. I'd love to hear if you have a go and what you found was the best. So, happy hunting everyone. Bye.